The German startup Manuyo wants more than import goods from Africa. Its co-founder Jean-Marc Liska created this platform so that more people in Europe can learn about Africa's premium products. Viewers Myra de la Salette spoke to Mr. Liska and some of his partners who say that more African goods should be traded on the global market. Check it out. From clothes to skincare, there's a range of made in Africa products and stories Manuyu aspires to introduce to Europe, such as Enda from Kenya. So, uh, Enda, we make Kenyan running shoes. We work with Kenyan athletes to design and develop running shoes, and then we actually make them here in Kenya. Um, they're the most socially and environmentally conscious running shoes on the planet. So, um, you know, not just giving back to communities here in Kenya through um, the production of our of our shoes, but also we um, do give two percent of our revenues back to the community-led organizations here to you know further our impact in Kenya. Um, also, we are certified climate neutral and certified B corporation. So, uh, you know, if someone's looking for a pair of shoes that's good for their for the world, we're obviously that. Um, but beyond just being like the right socially conscious product, there are also the right training product. Um, you can, if you can take that Kenyan running brand and leverage it as a way to bring, uh, you know, create jobs in Kenya through manufacturing um, and to change the way the world sees Kenya through premium products, then yeah, actually there's real significant opportunity there. And from Kenya back to Ghana, two sisters created 57 Chocolate, a name inspired on the year of Ghana's independence. So 1957 is sort of a reminder for people to go back to our roots that and to say and to tell people that hey, as Ghanaians in Ghana, we can produce and consume made in Ghana goods. And we want the world to know that, you know, Ghanaians are just as capable of making high quality chocolate. Basically educating people about this, you know, telling people that, you know, Africans are capable of manufacturing and making high quality chocolate products. And Kaimi's founder has a great expectation towards partnerships like this. Manuyo is taking Kaime to Germany and helping Germans to purchase products that are investing in local communities all over the world. And I think that's something that's really very special. And in addition to that, Manuyo is really committed to celebrating African greatness and making it easier for German customers to make more meaningful purchases. Um, that's one of the visions that we really believe in. For us, this is really great because we've had a lot of people coming, a lot of organizations coming that want to partner with us that we we declined. So it's not like someone from Germany coming to me telling me what to do and the direction for my company. But it's, you know, yes, some foreigner coming to me, but we're sitting down trying to figure out where our both uh, our common interests are and how we can each benefit. So it's a really special and unique partnership, if you ask me. But if Europeans might be more open to Made in Africa products, how is it going in the continent, where trade is still a challenge? We work around it, but it's, it's not as easy as it should be. And hopefully it's something that will change in the near future, in the very, very near future. It's very important. If Africa is going to be rising to its magnitude and its destiny, it's very important that we, as Africans, are able to trade with each other. We're equally hoping that the African Free Trade Agreement will make it more accessible um, to bring African products to Africa. Um, so that's what we're, we're really excited about, not only just making it global, but also making it available on the continent to show that, hey, as Africans, we should be consuming made in Africa. After crowdfunding that put Manuyu up and running, the startup retail is now looking at countries like Nigeria, Angola, Mozambique, Cameroon and Zimbabwe the aim is to diversify in terms of countries and regions. Maida de la Salette, VOA, Washington.